Wild Sports Team presents your Friday Night Overtime. It's been 48 minutes of action on the field and five more minutes on the top of that for overtime. But we're not done, so let's kick off double overtime. Waverly took on Dryden in the Coaches for Cancer game. It's Wolverines junior Cooper Robinson scoring the first takeoff, the handoff. See you later. That's in for six. The offense would continue as senior Colson Keithley gets a slant round with no defenders, defenders in his way. And uh, yeah, he'll find the paint on that one as well. Lions were not giving up though just yet. Junior Mellow Miles, that's a fun name to say, shows off the skills. And he's down the sideline on the kick return, breaking tackles. That would give his team good field goal position. Dryden could not convert on the fourth down pass. Gets deflected. Waverly wins 48 to nothing. Whitney Point hosted unbeaten Bainbridge Guilford. The Bobcats entered the second half down seven. But this stop on third down forced a punt. Some good defense standing there. The Eagles defense remained locked down, though as sophomore Lawson Henderson gets a big interception. Cambridge Guilford would get the ball back and would find themselves back in the red zone. Yeah, he'll take the whole team with him. Junior Isaiah Hampton would put the Bobcats on the scoreboard with a half-back dive. Yeah, go ahead and celebrate with him. They wanted to take the lead, but that would not work as the Eagles get the stop and also give Bainbridge Guilford its first loss of the campaign, winning 13 to six. Moving to Oxford, where the Blackhawks host Afton Harpersville, both looking for their first win on the season. In the second, down 14-12, Blackhawks inside the five. The snap is over, Jacob Gallo's head, and it's a big loss on second down. Troubles continue on third down. Trouble with the snap again, and Jacob Roofer is there for the Hornets sack. Blackhawks going for it on fourth and forever. Started as a first and goal. They try to get it all back, but just out of reach. Hornets ball now. But the Blackhawks defense all over it. Richard Hunter getting in there with the pressure and getting the sack. Fourth down now, Jaden DeLeon getting it to Davin Warren. But Richard Hunter is hunting indeed. The big hit to get the ball back. Blackhawks offense getting off to a slow start on the option play. Ball hits the ground and Hornets come up with it. But the Blackhawks get it figured out as they get their first win on the season, 38-30. Out in green, it was a battle of the greens with the Trojans hosting the Spartans on senior night, starting in the third with green up 8-6, but not for long. Spartans' Joe Sargent making moves to get in the end zone. Spartans up 12-8. First and 10, the Trojans show now. Michael Slater finds Ladar Lazarius Ludoff. That's a fun one. Also over the middle to pick up the first down, which leads to this. Michael Slater rows to his right. Whole sideline is screaming, run for it. He says, no, I'll go ahead and find the wide open. Micah Lafave for six. Next drive, Unitiga finds it. They go ahead and win. Unitiga Frego, 18 to 14. And that'll do it right here for Friday Night Overtime. But be sure to catch us on Southern Tier Kickoff tomorrow at 1130.